What's up guys, my name is ESO and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can pretty much become invincible in Skyrim by getting unlimited magicka. As you can see in the video, this will turn you into a god and pretty much make you unkillable. It's extremely fun to do. There are a few things you're going to need before you can do this. Firstly, any ring and any amulet. You also need an armor set of your choosing. I'm using Daedric armor, just because there's no drawbacks of being in heavy armor if you're a mage, and I prefer the heavy armor skill tree. However, if you have a high smithing skill, you can just improve your armor rating to the game cap of 567. Once you've decided what armor set you want to use, you'll need to invest in the enchanting skill tree. You're going to need all 5 points in the enchanter perk. This will make your enchantments 100% stronger. You will also need the insightful enchanter perk, which makes your enchantments on armor 25% stronger. And lastly, the extra effect perk. This perk is optional, but I highly recommend you get it. It allows you to put 2 enchantments on one item instead of just one. Now this method will work with two schools of magic, so basically you have unlimited magicka for the two schools of your choice. For example, I'll be using destruction and restoration so I can deal damage and heal myself infinitely. But if you want to use another school of magic, the choice is up to you. But I recommend doing it for destruction and restoration, as these are probably the most commonly used. You'll need to find some armor enchanted with destruction magic, like these Thalma robes. I have made a video guide on where you can find them, I'll put a link to it in the description. You'll also need some for fortify restoration. Now just disenchant the item and you will have learned the fortify destruction enchantment. Now select the fortify destruction enchantment and the restoration enchantment and then select the grand soul gem. And finally select any ring. This ring will now give you 25% reduced casting costs to those two schools of magic. Now, just do the exact same thing for the amulet and the chest plate and the helmet. In total, this will give you 100% spell cost reduction for destruction and restoration spells. Pretty overpowered, right? We still have the boots and the gauntlets to enchant. However, the game will not allow you to enchant them with Fortify Destruction. So I suggest that you enchant them with Fortify Magicka or Increase Magicka Regeneration, which is probably better. Now we've finished our armor, let's see what we can do. This is using spells with no enchanted armor on. As you can see, it uses Magicka. Now let's put the armor on. This is using spells with the Daedric Armor on, Unlimited Magicka. If you like, you can wield Destruction in one hand to cause damage, and Fast Healing in the other to heal any incoming damage you receive. As you can see, I'm having no issues killing all these guards in this city. If you decide you want to use another school of magic later on, you still have all your unused magicka reserves to use up. Like now in the video I'm setting people on fire with destruction while using a conjuration spell. As you can see, I use my magicka reserves to cast the conjuration spell. You should be putting all your stat points into either health or magicka anyway, because with this setup you don't need to block or swing a sword, so stamina is pretty useless. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, if you'd like more guys make sure you check out the channel, or if you'd like to stay up to date on the latest Skyrim guys you can just subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.